Thank you for tuning in to this WLRS Crypto Radio YouTube video. The content on this video is for entertainment purposes only and does not constitute financial advice. Be sure to like, follow, and subscribe for the most up-to-date content in the future. Enjoy. So, uh, this was based on uh, an opinion article I found on Cointelegraph, and I want to get uh, your guys' thoughts on it as well. Uh, it was about restructuring how much control whales have in DAOs and those governance voting platforms. Uh, so, he says that DAOs need to neutralize whales and more if they want better governance, uh, decentralized autonomous organizations would benefit from greater checks and balances that prevent influential influential minorities from seizing control. So, so David, I know Titano has a, a boatload of whales. Uh, pardon the pun. Mm. Um, so, what are your thoughts on something like that? What do you think? Wow. I've had um, I have such a variety of feelings about this subject because whales ultimately support your project. Like Titano's biggest whale group could single-handedly doom us, right? Um, and at the same time, you know, these whale groups are what created Titano, and that's just the reality. Um, so what I'm always advocating is that you create a good relationship with these whales. I haven't found um, any particular strategy, <clears throat> excuse me, guys, that strikes a, that strikes a, you know, a perfect balance on how to deal with people. You invite people to come to, you, to, their, to your project. They're excited, so they give you a lot of money. And then you plot to take away their power, right? right. So think this whole, like, you know, yeah, I mean, you're changing, you're changing the game right in the middle of the game. And, you know, people have come to Titano and said, hey, man, well, you guys, we need a whale tax. We need this. I get the fear. But how about managing the whales and making your project a project where they don't want to leave. So I, I have a, I'm a person, I don't really understand the idea of a DAO. I'm still, it's, I still struggle with it. I get that you want to give the community input and control, but I always ask people, would you rather the investors or Steve Jobs to run your company? And if the answer yeah. is Steve Jobs, then find a project with Steve Jobs on it. Well, well, David, who's the... So anyway, that's that's my... my honestly, DAOs, DAOs are a little bit like what would what would be great in a vacuum world. Uh, right, you it's can't, like communism. You can't, yeah, you can't really have DAOs. Um, I think it was just kind of like an anarchy approach to the current system where there's centralized finance and, I... and that there's one central point and everybody in DeFi was like, well, we got to change that, so let's just give this community access to the devs and they vote for everything that they want. Uh, but we all know that that can't work. And also I completely agree. Well, taxes or any chain, anything that tries to const like if you're going to allow wells to get into your project for near nothing and for, for no risk other than taking the risk of buying a big position. And then you want to say, well, how do we stop them from selling? I think it's ludicrous. Um, right. Wells made the whole, the whole man versus whale thing is a little weird. I hate that conversation. Um, and then, like, as up. far as voting goes, like, DAO aside or not, like, any vote, I'm always in the camp of you know, let people vote based on what they're holding, not, like, one vote per wallet, right? Yeah, like, that would be ridiculous. They put, they put more money into it. They get more say. Technically, um, right now, it's, it's, ah. held, it's held like equity when you own tokens. It's kind of how you can see DeFi as of right now, is like these people are supporting the project by buying small amounts of equity of the total supply. Like mm. large shareholders should get a bigger say. Um, that's just part of yeah. it. That's how Disney yeah. stock works. Yeah. 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 And, and I get, you know, people see it, it's interesting because the, a lot of these ideas around like that article come from well meaning people. But, you know, I, I find quite often they haven't thought through. And like I said, when we get the conversation around a DAO, I'm like, you know, is Titano a DAO? It's like, no, we're not. You know, the DAO is, like I said, the money's in your wallet. If, if Titano wants to do something major, then they're going to have to come to the community. Like, we're going to go to the community when we start, when we start incubating projects. You guys want to participate? We need a million dollars. We sound an amazing metaverse idea we can't build. That to me, again, around a specific 
issue or a project, that's fine. But, you know, having other management look over the shoulder and be able to change the ideas of your management, I'm, I struggle with that idea. I've never seen it work. Never. Yeah, because right. you're investing in their vision. You're investing in that. Right. Yeah. And so yeah, like, and how, how can the community take that over and then still apply the same vision? Because like most mm -hmm. leaders in the DeFi space, or me specifically, I guess I can speak to, is that I have a vision for, for my project and where I want it to go. Um, yeah. That's what you've invested in is my vision. Um, right. The mass majority can't be leadership. That's just not how it works. Right. Yeah, I do. Yeah.